what is up guys in today's video i'm going to be going over the changes that happened in a hotfix update yesterday afternoon or evening depending on what time zone you're in as always if you guys do enjoy this video remember to give it a like subscribe if you like some more and comment down below what you think of these changes what your favorite was what your least favorite was um and let's get right into it the first thing that changed is going to be that the tac ar got plus one damage for every rarity so one extra damage really isn't that big of a deal it's not a game changer but if you remember i talked about this in a video earlier this week the tac ar got a pretty significant buff at the start of the season with lower recoil lower spread and increased damage range so uh like plus one damage doesn't really change like revolutionize how you're going to feel about this weapon but if you haven't used the tac ar AR at all really this season it is noticeably better than how it was last season but i don't think it's the greatest thing in the game and i don't think this update really changes that the harbinger smg also got plus five percent fire rate and plus four percent reload speed and like the tac ar changes this is uh, you know a nice bonus to a weapon that really isn't used that frequently but it doesn't really change how i feel about the weapon or how i would rate the loot pool for this season the Harbinger SMG is just okay still, uh, and I feel like with what I want to use this season and what other options there are, it's still really not going to be something I want to use because a lot of times this season, especially since the update that added boogie bombs last week, I've been using shotgun, a spray weapon of some kind, boogies, heals, and then mobility, and swapping you know a Thunderburst SMG, a Warforged AR, or a Combat AR out for the Harbinger SMG just really does not feel great at like medium range and it also doesn't really feel that much better than the thunderburst at close range especially because the thunderburst has that perfectly accurate hip fire with the laser sight um and then also medium to long range it really like stinks compared to those other weapons so if you're someone who really likes using the boom bolt and you have that or maybe you like using the hand cannon and you kind of have that for your ranged weapon then the harbinger smg probably wouldn't be the like worst thing to use but it's just more of like a why would i want to use this thing because it's really not that much better at close range and it's a lot less versatile than those other options so like it did get a buff it's nice that a weapon that's not very good got a small improvement but i don't really think this changes how you feel about the weapon if you weren't using it before you're probably not going to like using it now especially for zero build in build mode that plus five percent fire rate might be significant enough to like get more shots through builds consistently but overall i, I think the thunderburst smg is still a much better smg than the harbinger smg so the next change is that the nitro gloves got some changes the damage from melee was reduced from 70 to 50 so 20 less damage here I don't think it's going to be the biggest deal one way or the other but a lot of players have been complaining about the melee spam with the nitro gloves so getting a little bit reduced damage for that is a step in the right direction i think for a lot of players um especially in zero build but even in builds it was really annoying and then the next change to gloves will really change the game in build mode because it got 50 percent reduced damage to structures so people aren't just going to be able to jump into boxes anymore and this was probably the most significant change in this update and it's mainly a change targeted at build mode because the way the gloves can be used just kind of completely invalidated the point of build mode you just jump on people with the gloves 24 7 and my audience is mostly zero build and even you guys i see a lot of comments of people just complaining about getting melee spammed to death by the gloves but imagine playing builds and enjoying that mechanic and taking time to get good at it and then just having people constantly jump into your box spamming is pretty annoying so 50 percent reduced structure damage on the gloves it's still going to be a good item but it's not going to be as cheesy in build mode uh so i i think that is a good thing personally i feel like one of the really strange things about fortnite is that it's always kind of had this conflict of players who enjoy building and players who don't and for years they would kind of balance this by adding items into the game to like allow players to grief builds like really overpowered smgs really overpowered explosives that way people who didn't want to build could just spam those items and then still get eliminations on people who built well but like with the addition of zero build i feel like there's very little need to constantly keep adding these items in that grief builds because like the people who like building can play builds and then the people who don't like building can play zero build so there's not i feel like there's not as much of a need to balance the build mode around people who don't want to build at this point in time because there is an option for people who don't want to build and i feel like odds are 
if you hate building, you're just going to play zero build anyway. So I think getting reduced structure damage on the glove is great for builds. And then also just a little bit less damage on the melee attack, I also think is quite good. I think the melee attack is still going to be great if you, you know, are going to push somebody and you want to do the ground pound on them. I, I still think going from 70 to 50 damage really isn't that big of a difference. You're, it's still a reasonable amount of damage especially if you're following up some ar tags like if you tag them a bit with your burst smg or an ar of some kind and then you go or like the boom bolt and then you're pushing them with the gloves and then as you get to them you do the ground pound i i don't really see this nerf changing too much for you i think the gloves are still a great item the next change i think also isn't going to change the game too much for you if you're a zero build player and that is that the boom bolt crossbow got reduced damage to structures by 50 percent it's, it's damage to players and vehicles was not changed at all. This is just its structure damage. So in build mode, it's not going to be as spammy to just destroy a bunch of walls. It still seems great at that from clips I've seen. Um, and in zero build, you're not going to be able to destroy cover as easily with it, which in, in my opinion is a good thing. I think the boom bolt is a good item and I enjoy, you know, hitting players with it and it's great to counter cars, but just being able to nuke all cover in an end game, I don't think is good. Um, so reducing structure damage, I think is a bonus. And like I already said, player damage and vehicle damage wasn't changed. It's just structure damage that was changed. Some vehicle mods also got nerfed in this update. And that is going to be that the machine gun turret got reduced damage from 30 to 27 and its fire rate was reduced by 7%. So not a huge downgrade on either way. Three damage isn't a, that big of a deal with the fire rate. You'll probably notice, um, but it's still good. And if you remember last week, the machine gun turret's accuracy was reduced. So, oh, like, it's gotten less accurate, it shoots slower, and it does less damage now than how it was at the start of the season. But I still think it's pretty good. You can't just see somebody in the turret seat of a car and be like, I'm going to 50 50 this person with my AR and hope I out DPS them. That's not a good play. It's not that bad. It's still quite good. You're just going to get melted by it a little slower so i still think the machine gun turret is something to be concerned about it's still a threat on the map it's not irrelevant um and the grenade launcher turret also got its damage reduced from 70 to 65 so five less damage on the grenade launcher turret again not a big change especially when you consider most of the time with the grenade launcher turret people are just spamming several shots so it's like you're having two or three grenades blow up on you in worst case scenario like kind of all at the same time and in those instances i don't really think this damage nerf is really going to change how you feel about that situation you're probably still going to be going back to the lobby pretty soon so it's nice to see a nerf to the grenade launcher turret but i don't think it changes too much the machine gun turret i think is noticeably worse but it's still not irrelevant and then probably one of the better changes in this update is going to be that nitro got a pretty nice buff the nitro splash item you can now carry six per stack instead of four so two additional ones per stack and then the nitro effect now makes your sprint unlimited at the start of the season it made it seemingly unlimited but you could still run out like it just made it to where things consumed stamina less and i believe stamina regen faster but now stamina is actually just completely unlimited when you have the nitro effect. So I want to have this as much as often now. So if I get nitro splashes, I don't really see myself carrying them unless I just have no other mobility item. I would much rather have gloves, shockwaves, or even porta bunkers if I have no mobility to at least have something to kind of deal with bad timing, you know? But without anything else i would be down to have the nitro splash and if i find it off spawn i'm definitely going to take it just to have unlimited sprint while looting and then you can kind of like break walls and stuff with the explosive effect it's nice to have but it's not really something i want to carry you can also get it throughout the course of the game by going through the nitro rings or breaking the nitro canisters and again anytime i see those items now i'm probably going to go for them especially the rings because it really doesn't inconvenience you that much to just drive through a nitro ring if you're in a car anyways you can go through the ring on foot, but you don't need to go through the ring on foot. So if you drive through a car or if you drive a car through the ring and then get out, your player will have nitro as well. So it's not like you have to decide between the car getting it or the player getting it. If you drive through both the player and the car get it, which is nice. Um, and just having that unlimited sprint is great in addition to the faster reload speed and just kind of the like improved jump aspect i don't know if it's like the jump speed or the jump height it feels a lot better to kind of like bunny hop around with nitro effect on i think um and 
before you could spam the bunny hop a lot and it was nice but this was th that was like the only way to run out of stamina i felt like when i had nitro was just spamming the bunny hop way too much but now you can do that even more without ever being concerned about the fact that you're going to run out of stamina because it's unlimited so think of nitro now as like the slap effect but i think you also get faster movement speed you get that better jump and then you also get faster reload speed so nitro was already good it's a lot better now um and it's just it it feels very fun to have nitro on i think which is great and if you have the nitro medallion now you will have unlimited sprint for the entire time you have the medallion which that medallion was already good now it's even better so i think this update was nice if you're a build player it's amazing the fact that the gloves will no longer go through walls is great if you're only a zero build player like most of my audience it's a bunch of nice little changes the tack ar and the harbinger smg weren't the most popular items they got some small improvement the gloves got some small nerfs but it's still an incredible item especially as far as mobility goes the boom bolt crossbow won't be destroying cover as quickly um vehicle mods got some nerfs but i think they're still going to be quite good and then the nitro effect i think it's just it's nice to have unlimited sprint in the game um i one of the things i've wanted for all of chapter five is just to vault mini shields and add slap juice and in, in chapter four I very rarely carried Slap Juice. It was a healing item that would give you unlimited sprint in addition to healing you. But it was great for whenever you just happen to find it, drink it, now you have unlimited shield for a period of time. Like I rarely carried it, but I would get um, the Slap effect quite frequently by, by just finding it and using it. And I feel like Nitro is going to be a similar thing for me now. Whenever I see those rings or whenever I see the splashes, I there's a decent chance I'm probably going to go want to go ahead and get it and just have unlimited sprint for a period of time because running out of sprint is pretty unfortunate in Fortnite. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found this helpful, informative, interesting. As always, if you did, remember to give it a like. Subscribe if you like some more. Comment down below what you think of this update, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.